And here it is. The actual jobless claims figure comes in at 1.314 million against the median estimate of 1.375. So slightly better. A little bit of improvement there. Continuing claims drops to 18.06 2 million against a previous read of 19.29 million. Still waiting for the revisions, guys. But, Tom, it's the improvement that we were looking for on both jobless claims and continuing claims as well. Though I'll stress, let's use the yeah. phrase less bad. It's less bad. It's still not great. Yeah, absolutely. And I actually looked, John, today. It was the first chart I looked at this morning is one that we look at, the smoothed four-week moving average of that single one-week jobless claims. And you're right, John, it's a fading and smooth recovery, but clearly not fast enough for the politicians, including Joe Biden speaking in Scranton, Pennsylvania today. John, right now, do you see a market reaction there to what seemed to be a little bit better pushing numbers? a little bit higher. Revision for the previous month coming in a little bit as well on continuing yeah. claims, Tom. That was 19.29. That comes down to 18.76. So a little bit better last month, a little bit better this month, or rather this week, Tom. Right. So this week <clears throat> compared to last week, things getting a little bit better. But I should stress, Tom, continuing claims going back to June 27th. This initial jobless claims read goes back to July 4th. There is a feeling amongst many people that coming out of June and into July, things have started to fade. We've lost a little bit of momentum. So this is as good right. as we can get for the labour market in real time. But I think a lot of people look into the high-frequency data elsewhere, Tom, mobility data, restaurant bookings, and drawing the conclusion the momentum that we had going into June, coming out of it is a little bit different.